Sexting is the sending and receiving of sexually explicit photos, messages and videos by text, email or posting on social networking sites. An increasing number of young people send explicit texts or nudes to friends, partners or even strangers they've met online. According to the latest research, 6 out of 10 teenagers say they've been asked for sexual images or videos. Young people may start sexting to express their sexual feelings in a relationship, as a joke with friends or due to social pressure. It may be seen as harmless by teens, but it can have a long-lasting impact on their self-esteem. Sexting can lead to children receiving negative comments through public humiliation, being victims of cyberbullying or facing legal consequences. Explicit content can spread very quickly and affect a child's reputation both now and in the future. It could also affect their education and employment prospects. When children engage in sexting, they're creating an indecent image of a person under the age of 18, which, even if they take it themselves, is against the law. Distributing an indecent image of a child is also illegal. It's very unlikely that a child would be prosecuted for a first offence, but the police may want to investigate. Have an age-appropriate conversation with your child about sexting as they become more independent online, particularly around the time when they start having romantic relationships. Encourage your child to think critically about what they share and the impact it could have if it was shared with the wrong people. Remind them that once the image has been sent, there is no way to get it back, nor of knowing where it'll end up. Talk about the effects of peer pressure and help them understand that the results of giving into it can be much worse than standing up to it. Talk to your child about having some responses ready if they are asked to send an explicit image. If it happens, a child may be reluctant to talk about it as they may fear humiliation, being judged, or getting their device taken away. To help them through it, offer your support and try to stay calm. Find out who the content was shared with initially, who it was passed to, whether it was done maliciously or was a joke gone wrong. Your child's school will be able to help you deal with the repercussions and support your child at school. Search your child's full name in several search engines and see what information and images are public. If you suspect that the image has been shared with an adult, contact the Child Exploitation and Online Protection Centre, CEOP, who are the national policing lead for online sexual exploitation. Social networking sites should remove an image if asked. If the image has been shared via a mobile phone, contact the operator who should be able to provide support. If your child calls Childline and reports the image, Childline will work with the Internet Watch Foundation to get all known copies of the image removed from the internet.